and uh, so now i'm going to uh, cover an important uh, uh, repetitive uh, workflow uh, that is a take screenshot and because in all the process uh, we should apply the take screenshot workflow to take a uh, screen of the particular uh, uh, process okay process in this in uh, the desktop so why we need screenshot we need screenshot to refer it later maybe if i if my bot no sending any exception email to me then i can i i, I may get a attachment the screenshot attachments through that screenshot i can able to know hey okay this is the error and i can refer something on from the screenshot okay go to process and uh, uh, create a new process name like uh, important workflows important workflows here i can add any all settings okay then comma kill process comma uh, init all application comma uh, take screenshot show and email notification okay so these are the uh, workflows are uh, mandatory workflows and from this particular process i am going to cover all this uh, i am going to develop all this workflow um, separately okay click on create and uh, click on open main workflow and now i am going to create uh, take screenshot workflow okay take screenshot workflow okay click on create so as you know why the take screenshot in uh, workflow is important okay i tell you so whenever if there is any system exception okay uh, any application i mean any application or system exception occurred on the particular uh, machine while you know uh, uh, executing the process then uh, the bot you no know, used to send an email notification okay while sending an email notification before that we need to take a screenshot of that particular machine then we need to attach that screenshot and we need to send it to the user okay this is for a reference purpose and uh, so how to build this take screenshot workflow very simple there will be only one single activity and you can build it so before that from this screen take screenshot workflow i am going to introduce one more activity that is called log message okay this log message we used to uh, we, we use this log message to track our uh, process step okay and we through this log message we can track uh, which step what executed successfully and whether it is cross that particular place or not so that is how we can um, track our process using this log message so in this log message there are many log levels okay and here uh, i am going to uh, tell you what is info and trace as of now and warn and error fatal i will tell you while covering the exception handling okay and if i click info it's just you not know, giving information okay i will be in in upcoming videos i will uh, uh, tell you that and where to see logs and how it is printing everything so as of now understand that how to use log message activity and see here log level info okay and here the message what should i add so let's say you know this is my take screenshot workflow i can go to variable panel and this is my behavior of i mean this is my best practice method so you can guys also follow the same here i add workflow underscore name and i am going to keep my workflow name as uh, take screenshot take screenshot okay and now this is this is standard okay there is no change here i am going to tell that um, i am going to call my workflow name plus then i i can add a pipeline here then i am telling that execution started execution is started okay this is for initializing your particular workflow okay so you can 
add this name also in it okay then again i am going to add one more uh, log message here execution is successful okay this is for end so in between i am going to add my uh, process activities okay so go to activity panel type take screenshot okay drag and drop take screenshot and uh, just here uh, so this is i think this is a classic one and i am going to this uh, modern activities and click on modern activity then again type take screenshot okay here you see there is an uh, improved version of take screenshot drag and drop and here there will be a three option how you want your uh, taken screenshot output either uh, do you want in a file or image or clipboard i i want in a file uh, option then this will be the your screenshot name screenshot png so here there will be another option auto increment so draw click on the drop down and there will be index and year month and followed by date uh, followed by uh, time okay hour minute seconds if i click index each time you no know, when bot trying to take screenshot it will uh, the screenshot name will be stored screenshot 1 screenshot 2 screenshot 3 something like that okay auto increment number if i give this uh, uh, time format and it will you uh, know add uh, with the, the screenshot name i mean with the screenshot name it will add this uh, current date and time okay i am going to give this current date and time because it's so easy to identify when the screenshot was taken okay then after uh, adding this and then you need to um, create a variables here so before that so here only if we have a screenshot okay i want to store somewhere in this particular screenshot right then go to project panel and click on a folder okay add a folder and let's say exception screenshot exception underscore screenshot okay click on okay now there is a folder created and just um, take this folder name okay and you are telling that hey here is my folder take screenshot folder so in that folder add my uh, screenshot okay that is what you are you are trying to say okay that's it now click on the take screenshot okay and here you see the file name okay in the property panel file name is added and uh, there is no input output element here you see saved file path okay this is the uh, place you are going to save the entire screenshot path okay and click on control i mean the press control k to create a variable and you can uh, create a variable like screenshot uh, uh, file path okay you created a variable that is in a string variable and you can drag and drop right line activity to check your the entire screenshot path okay you can use um, screenshot path okay that's it my flow is ready okay so let's see in the project panel there is nothing on the folder okay i'm going to make uh, this particular browser this is my currently visible the screen on my desktop okay and uh, so go to studio and just click on run file now my execution is over and you can see here in the output panel and you can see here uh, clearly you can see uh, execution started i mean execution started for take screenshot workflow here uh, im im important workflow execution started there's a process name take screenshot followed by execution started then it's taken the i mean here we are using it's uh, it's took a screenshot then you see then after what we placed that there is a right line activities right then the screenshot stored into this path and the take screenshot here you see the take screenshot execution 
successful okay you can add that workflow also in the particular uh, log message uh, take screenshot workflow execution started take screenshot workflow execution ended now you go here and refresh button click on refresh button and expand here is your screenshot just double click so this is uh, this is the screenshot taken by the bot okay so this is the one we are going to attach it in the email notification okay